Serato DJs, in this video today, I wanna to show you how to remove all your duplicates in Serato DJ Pro. With this hack, I managed to remove 3,000 duplicates inside this DJ's music library. That is 24 gigabytes worth of music. So stay tuned, watch to the end to see how I do it and how you can apply it to your music library as well. Inside Serato DJ Pro, we just have a normal music library like you would as well. So on the left-hand side, I've got my 2024 Serato crate structure. If you're interested in this crate structure, check the link in the description down below. So what we have is a music library. It has 24,798 tracks. And what we wanna do is remove the duplicates. Now there are loads of softwares out there to remove duplicates, but what we're gonna do is do it all inside Serato DJ Pro. So the first thing we're gonna do is just create a crate called possible duplicates. So I'm just gonna go here, go possible, duplicates and then what we're going to do is create some smart crates so the first one we're going to create is um so we're going to add a rule so we're going to go file name contains space one dot mp3 all right so we're going to click save and then we're going to create another one we're going to create five in total so we're going to click smart crate again add rule then go file name contains space two dot mp3 go to save then we're gonna go add rule, file name contains space three dot mp3. Go save, another one, space four dot mp3. And then last one, file name contains space five dot mp3. So we're gonna save that. And then now we have five different crates. So if I go into each crate, you start to see some tracks in here. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So we're just gonna drag them into possible duplicates like this. And then we're gonna keep them as crate one, two, one to five. So inside here now, we have all our possible duplicates in our music library. So if you have a look, this DJ has 3,026 possible duplicates. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna highlight all these tracks red. Right, so we've just highlighted all our tracks red. So what I'm gonna do is just click off this and all of these by number. So all of these are gonna be our possible duplicates in our music library. So for a lot of you DJs, you could just highlight all these tracks, press Command, Shift and Delete and delete all these tracks off of your hard drive and Serato and that will clean up a lot of your duplicates. But I know a lot of DJs wanna go through their duplicates and make sure that they're deleting the right one. So in order to do that, all you need to do is come over to All Audio. And if you order this folder by song, you can see all your tracks from the first song all the way down. So what you need to do now is look out for red tracks. If you come down, you can see your first red track. So this first red track here, you can see that it's got the same song name, the same artist name, same BPM, same year, same genre, but the difference is the file name. So you can see in this first file name here, you've got DJ Morpheus1234, then you've just got the original version at the top here. Then on the second one, you've got the one with the space two, which means it's the duplicate. Now, in order to decide which one to delete, you can use a few different things. So you can use the play count. So you can see on the second one that this one's been played 53 times compared to the one at the top that's been played 43 times. So you can delete the one that's been played less, to free up some more space. You can see that the bit rate for both of these are the same, so you can't delete it based on one bit rate higher than the other. And if you drag these tracks onto the playing deck, you can see that they both have cue points as well. So in this example, you can't delete them based on one has more cue points than the other. So for this example, I'm gonna drag this track down here and I'm gonna rename this crate to delete. Now this track here is now ready to delete. So what I can do is mark this as red and then take this one out so it's not the red track. So if I scroll down to the next red track, you can see that we've got one, two step. So we come across, you can see that the names are the same, the art is the same, and the one at the bottom is the space two duplicate. But in this example, again, the space two duplicate has more plays. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this one red, highlight this one plain, and I'm gonna put this to to delete. Once you've gone down the whole entire music library and you're happy, you can go into your to delete crate, and all you need to do is highlight all these tracks, press Command, Shift, and Delete. And in Serato, what that's gonna do is gonna delete all the tracks from your Serato library, as well as your hard drive. And this is gonna start freeing up some space. I really hope this video has helped you remove your duplicates in your music library. Hopefully now you can free up some space and download some more new music to make your sets more interesting. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.